The mobile smartphone industry in India has taken up a trend of seeing the launch of affordable 64-bit processors while the country is yet to receive the 4G network services in most of the metro cities. But with the increasing trend, smartphone users can't resist opting for the 64-bit processor which also makes the phone ready to take the full advantage of the Android Lollipop update. For those who have gone ahead and purchased the Lenovo A6000, the most affordable Android smartphone with 4G LTE in India, we have some tips to share with you which would make your device more efficient for usage. The first one is on how to turn on or off the Dolby Digital sound on the Lenovo A6000. The dual Dolby Digital speakers on the A6000 will make your gaming and video playback experience quite immersive. To enjoy that Dolby experience, you'll have to enable the feature first. To do that, you need to launch the Dolby app from the home screen or you can access it from the settings app, it's the same. Now to get an example, you can listen to the demo of what it would sound like when you play a movie, game or any voice audio. Else you can customize the effects by managing the volume leveler, dialogue enhancer, surround visualizer as well as change the graphics equalizer type to manual, open, rich or either focused. The next tip is on how to customize the home screen of the Lenovo A6000. There are many ways through which you can customize the looks of the home screen of A6000. And the swipe to change wallpapers is uh, something that piqued our interest, where you can change the wallpaper just by swiping left or right on the edge. It is quite convenient feature, talking about the home screen customization, you can also enable the wallpaper scrolling feature and change the transaction effect from the same settings. As well as select the desktop gestures for scrolling down and double tap. The next tip is on how to turn the portable hotspot or tethering on the A6000. The mobile data services are getting traction and uh, we think this would be a feature that many would take advantage of rather than having some USB dongles to tether the internet there are always uh, features on the smartphone itself to do that you need to just have the portable hotspot app present in the tools folder it is quite interesting that Lenovo has made this feature available as a separate application although you might even get the same thing on the settings app there you have to toggle the WLAN option switch to on as well as you can turn it on on tethering over Bluetooth or USB. So that depends on your usage. The next tip is on what is uh, Syncit application on the Lenovo A6000 and uh, what is uh, it helpful for. This app is a savior when it comes to backing up and restoring the contacts. Though which isn't it's uh, the only feature, you can also back up the call logs as well as the SMS inbox on the device. It's interesting because you don't need any other third party application to do the same. You can easily back up all those data on the SD card or either on the cloud. The next tip is on what is the shared application on the A6000. On an effort to provide services like Motorola Migrate, Lenovo pre-installs an app called a Shared, which integrates a feature where you can clone all the data present on your old device to the new one. So shifting between the phones is made quite easier. But you do note that this app needs to be installed on the sender device too. And that is quite okay because most of the other applications work in the same way. And both the devices need to be on the same Wi-Fi in order to send or receive the contents from either of them. The next tip is on how to use the security application on the Lenovo A6000. It's an overall safety package that is pre-installed on the A6000 and it is an application for all things related to security. Whether it is to revoke the selected apps from unnecessary permissions you have given or to see the data usage, then this is the app you can use. The security app also offers to check for virus, spams and thefts on your phone. While at it, you can also speed up the device and lock some controls and contents away as parental lock and private space. The next tip is on how to use the cleanup application on the Lenovo A6000. The separately present cleanup app on the home screen is a part of speed up section on the security app which allows you to free up some RAM on the device and you can also set up an ignore list which is if you want some apps to be running in the background. The next tip is on how to use the location services in battery mode. There's always a way to optimize battery even if you want some services that will drain the battery too fast. For instance, the location services that have a battery saving mode when enabled, it will limit the GPS usage to a minimum. To enable this, you have to launch the settings app and tap on location. There you have to enable the location services first and then you only have to switch the battery mode to battery saving. So that is where it helps in saving the battery. The last tip is on how to improve my GPS location on the Lenovo A6000. If you travel or navigate a lot, then GPS might be something you might be using more often. Regular GPS on the device is good enough to determine the location of your device. The assisted GPS would also help you in improving the precision of the location of the device. 
So you can enable it right from the location settings on the settings app. You just have to tick mark the checkbox in front of the option use assisted GPS. That would help in more precision while tracking the location of your smartphone. So there are a lot of other things you could do with the Lenovo A6000. A few more tips can be shared but these are the most important ones which you PG users might be confused about when they use the phone for the first time. So these were the tips and tricks on the Lenovo A6000. Do check out Phone Data for more videos. Thank you.